Hi, I'm Tim from Mountain Trikes, and in this video, I'll be talking all about our ePush, our electric assist attendant wheelchair. I'll be talking through its features and how to use it. Before transferring into the ePush, you can adjust the footrest height to suit whoever's riding it. Just use this latch, pull it out, and you can slide the footrest in or out. You can count how many holes are visible behind the pillar so that you get the height even left to right. The footrest also flips up to help the person get closer to the chair when transferring in and out. The armrests can be used to help you transfer into the trike. Simply use them to support your body weight when sitting back into the seat. Or if you prefer them to be out of the way, simply lift them up, rotate them around to point backwards, and they're out of the way to help with a side transfer. Or if you want to remove them fully, slide them out, transfer in, and then you can put them back into position when you're ready to go. The brakes can be locked on using the parking brakes. Simply pull the brake lever and push the parking brake up and that locks it on. Same on this side, pull the brake lever and push the parking brake up. Now the trike is locked solidly so it's nice and stable when getting in and out of the trike. When you're ready to go, simply release the parking brakes by pushing it down on both sides and now you can just push forwards to go. To reverse, you simply pull the trike backwards and that's as simple as it gets. To steer the trike, you simply push the handle to the side to start a turn. You can also use the brakes to help you start a turn. Simply pull the brake lever on the wheel on the inside of the turn. So to turn right, pull the right brake lever and push the handle to the side. And to go left, pull the left brake lever and push the handle to the side. In most situations when you're reversing, the rear wheel will stay straight However, sometimes you might find that the rear wheel turns around and there is a steering limit to prevent the motor cable getting tangled up. So if you pull back, the wheel will lock in that position. To then go forwards, simply push forwards and the rear wheel will straighten up. You may find in some tight spaces or to get around particular obstacles that it's helpful to lift the rear of the trike to reposition it rather than trying to steer around a very tight corner, in which case you just lift the back of the trike, reposition it, and away you go. On some very soft ground, such as sand or deep gravel, you might find that the rear wheel isn't always pointing in the direction that you want, in which case don't be afraid to just correct it with your foot and straighten it up. And that will help get out of some situations where maybe it's uh, pointing to the side, going through the soft ground, and it just needs that little helpful push with your foot just to realign it. I'll now talk you through the electric assist features of the ePush. The battery for the ePush is mounted under the seat of the trike. The key is purely for locking the battery in position on the trike. It has nothing to do with turning it on or off. So to remove the battery, you put the key into the lock, turn it 90 degrees and slide the battery out of position. Before refitting the battery, make sure that the battery is switched off. You have the on off button here. To turn the battery on, you press and hold and see the green lights. To turn it off, press and hold again and all the lights go off. The battery also has the charging port on the other side of it. So when you want to charge the battery, you can take it into your house, plug it in, fully charge it, and then slot it back into position on the trike. It can be charged in position on the trike, uh, but most people find it easier to take it off. 
Now slide the battery into position on the mount. You'll notice here that it's not pushed all the way on yet. My technique is to grip the underside of the mount with your fingers and then push with the heel of your hand. You'll then feel a very definite click as it slots into position. You'll also see on the opposite end of the battery near the switch that it is completely flush with the battery mount. You can ride the trike with the key left in position, but it's probably a good idea to take it out and keep it somewhere safe. You should have received two keys with your trike and we also highly recommend that you keep those separately so you have a spare in case you lose one of them. To turn the battery on, simply press and hold the rubber button on the battery and you'll see the green lights light up. Now you can turn the power on on the display. Simply press and hold the middle power button and the display will light up. There are five power settings on the e-push. You scroll between them using the arrow keys on the display. Level one is the lowest power, going right up to level five, which is full power. The speed is limited to three and a half to four miles an hour on every power level. So regardless of what power setting you're on, the trike will not go quicker than walking speed. The throttle is operated from the other side. You simply push the thumb throttle and that powers the rear wheel. If you ever need to quickly deactivate the throttle, you either turn off the display or you can scroll down to power level zero and that means the throttle is deactivated. It's important to remember that the e-push is electric assist. It's only really intended that the power on the motor is used in difficult situations like very steep hill climbs or if the person pushing is pushing someone quite a bit heavier than themselves. So on very flat ground, you really won't need to use the throttle, in which case just push it manually and direct it manually. Also, on very tight turns, it's advisable not to use the motor. Again, it's not really needed. It's best to just manoeuvre manually because the motor could very quickly spin the trike around faster than you want it to. It's also important to recognise that the attendant takes full responsibility for control of the e-push. So hold nice and firmly onto the handle and when going downhill, you can use the brakes to control your speed. You can drag them gently and that prevents the trike going too quickly down a slope. So thanks for watching. That concludes this video about our MT e-push. If you've got any questions, do get in touch through our website, mountaindrike.com. Cheers.